it was a little nerve-wracking, but there was a lot of praying going on and a lot of belief that we could win, and I knew it from the start. And from the start of the year, we had a cheer that we wanted to do, like during summer, you know, state champs, state champs. And everyone would tell me to calm down because you don't want to jinx it. But I kept going with it, and we finally got to do that cheer today. And what about the fifth set? That was pretty nerve-wracking, too. That was nerve-wracking, but it's a good nerve-wracking. Uh, racking. Um, it's more about pouring into the people that are on your side of the court instead of hating the people that are on the other side. What can you say about your hitters? My hitters? Oh my gosh. What can I say about them? I love them. <laughs> they are really stars. They are extremely amazing and they are just awesome. Like, I can't thank them enough. Do you think you played your best volleyball here th this week in Casper? I think we all left it out on the court this whole weekend, every single day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I think it was definitely worth getting a banner for. We really left it on the court. You're a state champion. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Really amazing, especially my senior year. It was fun to take them here. <laughs> we came in wanting that bad. And then the third and fourth, we kind of stepped back instead of pushing forward and giving it our all. And I think that's where we went wrong. But then in the final set, we've realized that like we want this and we deserve to win. It didn't seem like you guys were, were you nervous at all maybe in the fifth set? We were definitely nervous. We've gone to five with them before, but we knew if we came together as a team, we could easily take this. How is it playing a team that you've seen over and over again for the state championship? It's a little bit reassuring since we've beat them every time like uh, we've played them. But they're a great team, and I was happy knowing we'd play them because it would really challenge us as a team. What do you think about winning a state championship as a freshman? That's insane to me. I, last year and the years before, I've thought about this exact moment, and it's crazy to me that it's actually happening. And I have my people in the stands, and it's, it's crazy, honestly. How much volleyball did you do over the summer? Uh, I came to every single thing our school held together as a team, and I showed up every day and I put in that work. I did a lot. <laughs> It'll sink in probably on the way home, but you, you are state champions. How does that feel? I don't think I've processed that, but it's crazy. I'm still like shaking after that. We're, we're a young team and sometimes all the feels kind of settle in when we're on the verge of something big. Um, I think we just got in our head and forgot to trust the process a little bit and wanted to snowball right to 25 and started to panic when that didn't happen. Um, but we were able to kind of regroup and settle down. There was a lot of nerves just fueling us into bad mistakes, unforced errors. And we recentered ourselves before game five and just kind of came out a little more grounded. Who is your emotional barometer on this team? Um, you know, Sadie Zimmer is kind of our workhorse. She does it all for us. And she has a tendency to just kind of take over when things, when she needs to. And so the team relies heavily on her and she always rises to the expectation. Um, and so when you see her get a little nervous, you know we got to settle everyone else down. Were you a little bit nervous in the fifth set? Um, you know, we're a fifth set team and we love game five and we win game five. And I feel pretty confident that we could flip that switch. It started to not go our way, but we called a timeout, got them back on track, and I knew there was no looking back from there.